I'll be showing you step by step how to add an exit intent pop up to your Shopify store. We'll be using a completely free app here and I'll be showing you everything so you can start collecting email addresses when customers are potentially leaving your store so you can contact them on a later basis, hopefully helping to increase sales for you. So the app we'll be using in this video is called Ecom Send Pop-Ups and Email Pop-Ups. It's a completely free app and it has great reviews with a perfect five-star rating and 6,800 plus reviews. And the feature we're looking for here is retain exit intent and convert leads. So I'll leave a link for this in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Ecom Send. Once you're on this page, we'll click install here and let's go and set up the app end to end. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install. So to start things off, we'll head to the dashboard here, which should load automatically. And first we want to enable the app with the app embed section. So there should be a button here on the screen. So if I click enable app embed, this will open up our Shopify theme section and it's gonna open up the app embed section. So if you were to just open up your Shopify theme editor normally, you could head to the left-hand side here under app embeds and search for Ecom send pop-up. So it should be toggled on by default. Then to save these settings, you just click save in the top right here. If I head back to our previous tab, this should now check off for enabling the app embed. Next, we can go and create our pop-up. So I'll click this create a pop-up button. This will open up our next step and I'll click create pop-up. So I'll just go for the simple opt-in pop-up here. I'll click create, and there's gonna be quite a few settings in which we can edit. In the middle here, we have our preview, our success status, our sticky bar discount, and our sidebar widget. And on the left-hand side, we have our rules, our content, and our style. So let's start things off with the rules. So I'll leave the name as a default here. I'll click publish. I just want this live on my store right away. In terms of a discount code, I am gonna offer one here, although it's not required, but it's to incentivize people to go and actually enter in their email. So I'll just leave this as 10% off and I'll, I'll let the pop-up here auto-generate a unique and non-reusable coupon code. I'll leave as don't show for the sticky discount bar. For the sidebar widget, I'm not gonna show it here as I just want this to be an exit intent one. And if I continue to scroll down to the trigger, we can see when to show. There are a few options from show on timer, show after scrolling, and the one I'm interested in here is called exiting the page. To note, this is only available on desktop browsing as what's gonna happen is if I'm mousing over here and I go off the page, it's gonna show this pop-up. Now in mobile, they don't have that behavior because you can't go and physically mouse off a mobile web page. In terms of frequency, I put every time anyone visits, show all time, show in any country. It looks like there is the ability to remove the Ecom Send branding, but you have to contact them to remove it. In terms of content, I'm gonna change the heading to just a wait exclamation point. I'll leave the description the same. I'll just ask for the email address. You could remove this secondary button that says no thanks as well. I'll just leave it on here. It just is the option to do so. You can also even remove the primary button. However, I'm not sure why you would do that there. It says status. So this is when they've entered in their email. They're going to get their discount code. And we have error text here. So invalid first name, last name, and so on. In terms of style, let's go here. In terms of the logo, you can add one for your store, then change the logo width. There's the display size, the alignment, the image position, and the colors. This is probably what you really wanna change here, is you wanna make it match the theming of your store. Let's say your store uses all red buttons. So the primary button, I'd maybe change it to the same red that your store uses. You can also enter the hex here to match it exactly. This is gonna create a consistent branding experience between your Shopify store and this exit intent pop-up app. There's also a mobile preview here so we can see what it looks like on mobile as well. To finalize these changes, hit save in the top right here. It's gonna say saved successfully. So if I close this, let's open up a preview of my online store here and this should be all enabled. So if I'm scrolling on the page here, let's say I click into a product and I'm gonna mouse out and there it is. Wait, get 10% off your order. So incentivizing customers to enter their email in before they go so they can get the discount. So we can then both contact them on a later basis is that by entering their email, they're signing up to receive email communication from us and they can unsubscribe at any time. And they're also gonna get this nice discount code, which they might go and use immediately. And so just like that, we've set up our exit intent pop-up using a completely free app that's super easy to set up on the Shopify app store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. And that's where ProfitCal comes in. 
It's a sponsor of today's video and it's a one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can see how much money your store has actually made. It's going to include a ton of different metrics and analytics and details so you can start making smarter business decisions. It's also going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It has many cost of goods sold syncing options and just going to gather everything in one place. It's going to save you from having to use spreadsheets. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. All you have to do is head to the Shopify app store and search profit calc and look over this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to bring you to that app page directly. So a super cool app. So make sure you check that out there. So this is going to conclude the video on how to set up an exit intent pop up for your Shopify store. If you enjoyed it or it helped at all, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.